Bertram, Bertram, I just received word from the King of France. What is it, Mother? The King was very sorry to hear of the death of your father and wants you to come to his palace right away. <gasps> oh, no! Did you say something, Helena? Oh, it was nothing, ma'am. Then I must be off. I have to go pack my things. I'll answer it, ma'am. Thank you, Helena. Oh, hello, sir. Come on in. I am here to pick up Bertram. Oh, but does it have to be so soon? I'm afraid I have to because the king is in very bad health. Oh, if only Helena's father were alive. He was the great physician Gerard de Narbonne. Ever since her father died, I have taken her into my care, and she has served me as her mistress. We can't be talking about Helena and her father all day. I have to go. Oh, Bertram, I can't bear to have you go. <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow, Mother. <laughs> be good to my mother while I am away, Helena. Oh, Bertram, you do not know how long I have loved you. The thought of you leaving breaks my heart. <laughs> oh, I just received a letter from Bertram. <laughs> Helena, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. Hmm. Oh, I wonder how Bertram's doing. I haven't heard from him in a while. <laughs> Helena? Oh, uh, what is it, ma'am? Helena, I feel as if I am your mother and you are my daughter. I sense that something is bothering you. No! I, I mean that you are not my mother. You are my honorable mistress. But I feel as if I am your mother and you are my daughter. Why do you look so at my words? But you can't be my mother and Bertram can't be my brother. Hmm... I sense that you are in love with Bertram. What? I, I mean, that's uh, that, that's crazy. <laughs> come, come, tell the truth now. It is written all over your face. It, it is true. Please forgive me, ma'am. Do you wish to go to Paris and see Bertram, Helena? Well, the thought did enter my mind when I heard that the king was ill. I thought I could bring one of my father's potions to heal him. Yes, the medicine might be useful for the king. If it can heal the king, he may grant a favor for you. You should definitely go. I'm ready! Finally, I'm in Paris! Rise. State your business. Sir, my... My father made this medicine before he died, and I believe it will cure you. Hmm. Fine. But if it doesn't heal me in two days, it will be the death of you. If it does heal me within two days, you can marry anyone you wish. Oh, thank you, fairy godfather, sir. I, I, I mean, sir. Well... Here goes nothing. I, I, I can't believe it. I feel better already. Fetch me that young maid. She shall have any man in the kingdom for her husband. Did it work, sir? Did it work? Of course it worked. You can have any man in this kingdom for your husband. And you can even have my finest ring, too. The men, sir. Helena, look round on this youthful parcel of noble bachelors and choose your husband. I present my finest 
to my husband, Bertram. Dun, dun, dun. King, I cannot accept this carrot. My poor physician's daughter. Sir, he's right. You need to let them all go. I am the king, and what I say goes. Bertram, I demand you to marry Helena. Helena, hand me that carrot. I declare you two married. We may be married, but I will never love you. Never want to be married in the first place. I'm leaving. <laughs> My worst fears have come true. <laughs> If you can ever get this ring off my finger, then you can call me your husband. <laughs> Helena, Helena, what's going on? I just heard the news. You mean the news? <laughs> that Bertrand is leaving me forever? <laughs> but it isn't right for Bertrand to go, to leave his country and his mother and his job. It should be me who should be going. Send word to Bertram that I'm leaving France so that he can come back. Well, at least take my cloak as something to remember me by. Goodbye, mistress. Do you have room for a weary traveler like myself? Of course, dear. Come on in. Why don't you warm yourself by the fire? Where are you traveling from? I've come from the palace of the King of France. Oh, a countryman of yours has just came here. His name is Count Roseland. He has done worthy service in the Duke's wars. Yes, I know of him. Is he not a handsome man? Oh, I like him well. Uh, I heard that he got married, and then he deserted his wife. Oh, the poor thing. Then he entered the Duke's army to avoid living with her. Yes, I have heard that too. And he has fallen in love with my beautiful daughter, Diana. But she pays no attention to him, because she knows that he is a married man. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay, dear? I am the wife of Bertram. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I am so sorry, dear. Mother, is everything all right? You know the man that has been trying to court you, Diana. Yeah? What about him? This is his wife. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you poor thing. He's been saying the meanest things about you. It is obvious that it's not true. Why would he say such mean things? We must do something about this. Dear, do you still love him? I've loved him all my life, and even now, after all the mean things that he's done to me. We need to teach him a lesson. Acknowledge me as his wife. Send information that Helena is dead. Offer marriage to Diana. Obtain the rings. After dark. In Diana's chamber. Helena. To trick Bertram into thinking that you are me, you can take my dress. But my hair looks so different. What if we can't trick him? Mm, you can take my hair, too. Let's go get you changed. Oh, no. Bertram will be here any second. Oh, Diana, you look more beautiful than last time I saw you. Oh, Bertram, do you really mean it? Yes, and to prove it, I will give you my ring. Oh, I have been waiting all my life for this. I'm sorry to say that I have to go now. But why? I just received a letter that my wife Helena has died. Oh, so you have to go back to your mother to take care of things? Yes, we will marry when I return. Before you go, Bertram, take my ring as something to remember me by. Ever since Bertram treated Helena that way, I've, I've been worried about her. I've come to call upon her mistress to see if everything's all right. <laughs> oh, who could that be? 
Oh, King, thank goodness you're here. Bertram just brought this letter saying Helena is dead. Let me read that letter. Oh, my. How can this be? Let me see Bertram. I need to speak with him. Yes, King? How'd you come by this letter? I got the letter from a mailman. Wait a minute. How did you come across my finest ring? I gave that to Helena. Uh, uh, this isn't Helena's. You lie, Bertram. This gives me reason to believe that you killed Helena. <gasps> Guard, seize him. No, you don't understand. Bertram? Diana? Who is Diana? Diana can prove that this ring is hers, not Helena's. I'm afraid I cannot, for that ring is Helena's. And I am Helena. <gasps> you promised me that if I could get this ring off your finger, I would be able to call you my husband. Yes, I did, and now I love you. Set my husband free so I can give him a hug. Yay!